In a country where cricket reigns supreme, why are we still rooting for Indian hockey? For the die-hard Indian hockey fan, it's time to rejoice. And a year from now, the jubilation might just begin. The eight Olympic gold medals and now history. The Indian men haven't stood on a World Cup or an Olympic podium for the last four decades. While India lost 1-7 to Pakistan in the final of the 1982 Asian Games, Kapil Dev's team went on to win the Cricket World Cup in 1983. Things were never going to be the same as far as Indian sport was concerned. The 1980 gold medalists failed to reach the semi-finals of the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. Not even the great Zafar Iqbal who failed to put one in into a near empty goal mouth could save the Indians. Things went from bad to worse as the Indians finished last out of 12 teams in the London World Cup of 1986 and soon surrendered their Asian powerhouse status to the speedy South Koreans. Meanwhile, the Indian cricket team went on to win the 1985 Benson and Hedges World Championship of Cricket with Indian audiences watching the proceedings live on television. The Indian sports fan took to cricket like never before as the national game slithered down a rocky incline. But hold it, a resurrection was on the cards just when it seemed that all was lost. After failing to qualify, for the 2008 Beijing Olympics and after finishing last in the 2012 London Games, the Indians under the tutelage of Roland Altmans went on to reach the quarter-finals at Rio 2016. The Indians also reached the final of the Elite Champions Trophy twice in 2016 and 2018, losing to mighty Australia in two closely fought encounters, losing both in a shootout. In fact, Harendra Singh's Indians dominated the Australians at Breda as the curtain came down on the prestigious Champions Trophy. Harindra's boys also went on to reach the quarterfinals of the 2018 Orisha World Cup despite missing some key senior players owing to injuries. Yet, the best was still to come as the Indians under Graham Reed came vigorously to life the Kalinga Stadium against the top three teams of the world, Belgium, Netherlands and Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, the resurrection is truly on 
with the Indian women's team breaking into the top 10 under the watchful eye of coach Shod Marine. With exactly a year to go for the Tokyo Olympics, join me in wishing the Indian hockey team all the very best. Indian hockey is truly on the verge of history. Thanks for watching.